and welcome to the 55th BFI London Film Festival in association with American Express. For the next 16 days, Team Love Film will be bringing you all the latest from Europe's largest public festival as they endeavour to show you the very best of world cinema. And this year is no exception. A whopping 300 short films and features will show during the course of the festival, including the likes of George Clooney's Return in the Ides of March, which sees him write, direct and star. Can Darling, the artist, will receive its gala premiere, and not to mention the likes of David Cronenberg's A Dangerous Method, the Darden Brothers, The Kid on the Bike, and Lynn Ramsey's We Need to Talk About Kevin. But first, let's kick off the festival with the opening night gala screening of 360. So let's join my esteemed colleague, Miss Tegan Niveton, direct from the red carpet. And here we are in the heart of London's West End for the premiere of 360, which stars Rachel Weisz and Jude Law. From the director of City of God and The Constant Gardener, it's a complex and intriguing drama about many different people from all over the world whose lives become intertwined. It's the opening of the London yes. Film Festival. Yes. How does that feel? Very exciting. Um, somewhat nerve-wracking. I'm very proud and shitting myself at the same time. <laughs> and, but this is the third time that you've done it. Does yeah. it feel different, though? It doesn't make it any easier. And if anything, I'm more frightened this time because I think the film is a more challenging film. I mean, it's, you know, Frost Nicks and Last King of Scotland were more, conve I mean, both unconventional films, but they were more conventional than this one. This one's quite unusual, and I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I'm a little nervous. How does it feel to be in London at the opening of the London Film Festival? It feels great, even though now it starts raining. So, you know, a little bit. If you don't mention it, people won't notice. Okay, um, forget about that. No, no I feel great. I'm, I feel very honoured and uh, it's a great pleasure for me to be part of this film. And I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to see it for the first time and I'm very curious. Quite a lot of your scenes are with Jude Law. What was he like to work with? Fun, fun. We had a great time. Yeah. We got along very well. And uh, yeah, it was just uh, three days, of, no, two, even only two days of shooting. So but we, we got along very well. First of all, how does it feel to be at your film's premiere opening the London Film Festival? It's amazing. <laughs> uh, I, I'm a student from Bratislava. I've never played in such a big production with such great actor, actors and uh, directors. So everything is now like uh, being in a dream. One of the exciting things about the film is this international cast oh, putting course. everybody together. Great, it's of like, course, like I mean. these the films must be now because it's the reflection of society and what we are living nowadays. Yeah. All the mixture of the countries, of cultures and it's great that Fernando and Peter Morgan make the film like this. And I think even for him it was very exciting. I was talking to Fernando, I'm like, Fernando, you directed me in my language, in Slovak language, that's mm. crazy, how can you do that? He was like, ah, oh, that's a surprise for me as well. <laughs> like, like it's really, it's a very special experience for any filmmaker to, you know, work in different languages with different cultures. It's very inspiring, I think. And there you have it, this year's festival is officially open. We'll be back tomorrow with our top five films to look out for, plus the premiere of Like Crazy.